With Father's Day just around the corner and two projects down, the wonderful card and the little compass box that we've created, we've got one more project here. It's a, um, it's a, a lantern um, featuring a uh, penny farthing bicycle and a um, guy with a top hat. Just a very classy, um, vintage looking piece that might go well in dad's office or his little man cave or whatever it is. Um, this is also um, has a hint of steampunk to it, so it will span more than just Father's Day or something to give to a guy. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at what we have here. And as usual, we're going to approach this just systematically and kind of um, work on one thing at a time here, get everything set up, and then we're gonna begin assembling things. Um, this is the top portion of the lantern. And what you'll notice in your download when you're cutting these out is that we've got uh, one pattern on one side and another pattern on the other side, and they're going to alternate. Okay, so you wanna grab this piece and grab one of these. It doesn't matter which pattern you start with because ultimately um, it's not really going to matter until we glue this to the main structure of our lantern. So, so we're just gonna begin by gluing some panels down. Then we're gonna work on getting our vellum in place on some of these pieces and then we'll work on our actual structure. So this, these pieces here, uh, many of them have some nice little details cut into them. So you want to do your best to uh, get glue on all those little details, but not too much because they're so thin that you may have a glue explosion which we want to try to avoid. Okay, so I've got my first panel on, and just keep in mind that you want to alternate your panels. Now, yours, you might be doing it out of the same color, which is fine, or you, know, you may not be using patterns at all, or you're using the same pattern, in which case this does not apply to you. But if you're following along based on how we have things laid out, just wanna bear in mind that you want to alternate these. That's if you want to recreate it just as we have. Um, otherwise, you know, it's totally up to you how you do it. And that's what's wonderful about having the creative freedom to alter and customize these in any way that you wish to. Okay, so I'm going very light on the glue here. I don't want any of it kind of squirting out. It's kind of hard to see the glue being applied to this pattern here, so do your best to kind of visualize what I'm doing. And just get it nice and matched up with the pieces here. There we go. And I am working on everything as flat as I can. Okay, so that just leaves one more panel for this piece here. I love the look of those vintage bicycles, but it makes you kind of wonder, what were they thinking when they designed that? I'm sure that there's some sort of physical, as in you know physics, reason to make that wheel so big. Uh, but could you imagine anyone riding that thing around nowadays? Okay. All right, so that's in place. We can go ahead and what I would do at this point is just get these pieces folded at the score marks here, just to get them ready for where they're going ultimately. Just get them nice and folded. I like putting the panels on um, because it kind of stiffens everything up. Okay, so let's flip this over and let's find our little vellum pieces here and let's get our vellum in place. Okay, so you can see how the vellum is going to be applied. We're not sandwiching it. No one's really going to be looking on the inside of the lantern. So for the sake of making things easier, we're just going with this method here and then add a few dots 
on the little details here as well so that the vellum stays for us nicely. Okay, that should be more than enough. And just make sure that you're covering up all of the cutouts. We've given you plenty of extra space to ensure that the coverage is perfect and that looks really cool. Okay, so we're just gonna repeat that process three more times. And I think the, the dotted method is fine. Again, no one's really gonna see the inside of this because sometimes, um, glue on vellum kind of shows through, but again, we're, we're not going to be looking at the inside of this thing. This is all going to be tucked away nicely. You can see I'm really using that brayer lately. I, I, I do like it. I guess I could use my hand, but something tells me that it it more evenly distributes the weight and ensures that things stick better than I could do it with my hand. Okay, so just cover that up nicely and push down. And the last one here, just going around a few dabs on the interior so that things don't pull apart. And voila, there we go. Beautiful. Okay, so that's looking really sharp so far. And we're not quite ready to close this up yet. I'm just, like I said, we're gonna take things one step at a time, do things methodically, um, and then just kind of get things assembled all at the end here. Let's grab this next blue piece here. And we've got some panels that are gonna go on this. Now for this one here, the way we have it arranged is all of these pieces are gonna be the same pattern or color. Okay, and while I have this in my hand, I'm just going to get everything nice and folded just to kind of get it ready. Just fold at the score marks, just like that. And then we can flatten it back out. And you can tell that two of these have little holes in them. So those are pretty self-explanatory as far as where they're going to go. You want to line it up with the hole on the actual structural piece. And by doing so, you're gonna create a nice little border all the way around that. I'm gonna grab one of the pieces here without the hole in it. And that's gonna go on one of the neighboring pieces here. Just make sure that you uh, get a nice little border all the way around there. Okay, the next one here. And one other thing that I wanna mention is that these pieces here, this was inked with a brown, I believe. Let me see here. Floral print, yeah, these were brown. And then this blue stuff here. This blueprint uh, I did in a blue. And that's pretty much all the inking that we're doing for this project. We're gonna dress this thing up with some nice bling once it's all done and put together. Okay, so this piece goes here. Just make sure that you got it aligned over that hole so you're not obstructing it. Nice even border all the way around. Okay, and there we go. Now also, we do have two little pieces of vellum that are gonna go in here. These real small pieces here. So just do a few dots in between the little cutouts and place that so it matches up the angle of the actual cutout. Make sure that you're not encroaching over that score mark. Okay, so that's kind of what it should look like there. And same thing on this side, just a few dots. Should hold it in place nicely for us. Okay, get that nice and centered. Add some more pressure there. Okay, all right, so that is all set. Let's put that off to the side. Um, let's do something easy. Uh, we've got a little pennant that's gonna go on the uh, 
on the actual lantern once it's all done. Just take the smaller piece, throw some glue on there. Make sure you get that glue right out to the edge and the tips there. And pop it smack dab in the center of the larger pennant with your pattern, or in your case, it might be just a color. Get that nice and centered and get that glued on. And let's just put that off to the side so it has a good chance to dry. And um, now let's take a look at the main panels here. Okay. Move this out of the way. <clears throat> okay. So you'll notice that we literally have two of the same pieces. Okay. And my pattern for, uh, there's one for the wheels here. Okay. And where's my other one? There it is. And that one here. And then Mr. Uh, Mr. Penny Farthing, which is the bike, but I'm going to call him Penny Farthing. Um, that's going to go there. So that's pretty self-explanatory. And again, we've got a lot of little details on this and you know what, before we, uh, no, we'll wait. Let's just, let's just get the panels on here. And again, with this one here, I just kind of hit the edges with uh, a little bit of uh, brown ink. And we're gonna have to go around the perimeter here, do your best to get as much coverage as you can. Just make sure that you do get the perimeter. And then I'd pop a few dots all over the interior pieces. Don't go too crazy, but definitely try to make sure that you get enough coverage on everything so nothing goes pulling away. Maybe a few on the little spokes here and there. It doesn't have to be completely covered to stick. Okay. And then find and focus on maybe one point somewhere. I'm focusing on the brim of his hat and then use that as your initial guide for alignment. And then the rest of it, you can kind of just shimmy around until you get it perfectly in place. And then I'm just going to bray this down. There we go. And that looks pretty darn good. Okay. I'm going to keep that flat and let it really set while it's flat. Sometimes I feel like you start moving it too much. You can kind of warp it and then things just look odd. All right. Next piece for this section. Again, I'm starting with a little bit of a thicker line of glue around the perimeter just to make sure that that all sticks. And then I'm just going to use dots throughout the rest of the design. And again, you don't have to get it all over the place. I'm doing really wispy little strokes here with my, uh, with my glue. And that seems to be working out very nicely as far as the coverage goes. And uh, again, um, just focus on something in one spot and try to get that aligned and then just kind of nudge things around until it sets nicely. The glue is pretty forgiving and it gives you a few extra seconds to kind of shimmy things around. So take advantage of that time. Okay. That came out nice. All right. I'm happy with that. Now, that looks great. Okay. We can go ahead and flip this over as we do have some vellum pieces that are going to go on here and we're going to basically do the same thing. Um, just make sure that you're getting glue out in the perimeter here. No, don't need a lot. And then again, just focus on getting a few dots here and there throughout the design. You gotta work kind of quick don't need to cover the whole thing. It'll stick. And you got to work really quick because I can already tell that this exterior is starting to dry. So I'm not going to waste any more time here. Just make sure that you cover up the actual cutouts, get that on there and get it down ASAP. Okay. Let's take a look at that. That looks great. Okay. Next little piece here. This one may be a little more challenging because there's a lot more detail, but we already put the panel on and that seemed to work out nicely. So 
this should actually go a little bit easier. Just find the large spots so you can work quick and then hit some of the smaller details right towards the end. Okay, that should do the trick. And just cover that up. Make sure that you're not encroaching over the little score marks that we have on the side there. Okay, there we go. And that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so what we wanna do then is can go ahead and take this and fold it at the score marks here. Okay, and I'm just gonna run the brayer over that. That looks nice, okay. So at this point, if you want, you can um, skip ahead to the next part because I'm just gonna repeat this process with this section here. Okay, but that looks good. Let's keep it flat, let the glue really set. We can put that off to the side and grab our next section here. Again, this is completely repetitive. But anyway, depending on, on how you dress this up with papers, uh, now because of the color scheme and because of how my home is decorated, there are certain rooms that, I'm actually putting the glue on the back of this, that's fine. Um, this would actually work in pretty much almost anywhere in my house, especially the living room, which has a very earthy feel to it. Oops, so you don't wanna do that. That was way too much glue there. Oh no, my bottle's gone crazy. And I'm gonna have to reapply some of this. Uh, you could use a spray adhesive. Just make sure that you get some sort of repositionable spray adhesive because the stuff that I've used in the past is very unforgiving. And if you make a mistake and you put it down uh, chances are you're not gonna get it back up. Okay, so again, find, I'm looking at the center of the bottom, uh, bottom wheel where all the spokes meet up. I'm using that as my initial guide. And I actually got some glue on my table. I'm gonna make sure that I don't, let me just wipe that off. And let's just bray that down. That looks good. Had a little bit of glue. That shot out over here. I'm gonna clean that up with my fingernail. That came off nicely. And on to the next one. So, uh, you know, we always think of stereotypes. And when I think of dad's office, you think of uh, wood, you know, like a, a nice wooden chair, wooden desk which I'm lucky enough to have. I don't know if all dads have that. That'd be kind of almost too weird, I think. So you may have to make this up in different colors to kind of match that aesthetic, but uh, this would look actually really cool in one of those old fashioned offices. Or if you have a friend that really loves all things steampunk, this would be a really cool little lantern to make them. Um, so this goes beyond guys, obviously. I think it's fairly unisex. Okay, let's get that on there. Wonderful. Okay, so far so good. And I may just kind of crease this real quick to help me identify where I can and can't put my, my vellum. Having that little shadow there kind of helps out. So again, um, I'm going to start with the perimeter here and get my glue on here and then work some of the details in the center so that my vellum doesn't come apart in these areas here. Not come apart, but detach. I'd say that's pretty good. Maybe some up here. There we go. And again, just make sure that you're covering up all of the cutouts, not encroaching over any of the score marks on the left or right. And push that down. There we go. Let's take a look at that. That looks sharp. OK. 
Okay, and last but not least, our last little piece of vellum here. Let's get our glue on there. We've got some large areas here for some nice big dots of glue. Definitely get these little pieces here in the corners. And then just a few on his legs, maybe a couple on the spokes here and there. You don't have to be perfect with that. As long as you get that perimeter, the rest of it should pretty much stay in place for you. Okay, push that down. And that works nicely. All right, so we've got that and we've got the other piece. Uh, all of our vellum is pretty much in place. Uh, we're getting very, very close to uh, assembling the main structure, but just to kind of get our feet wet, let's start with the base, okay? So we've got these pieces here. This is the main part of our base, and we can begin by folding everything at the score marks. Okay, this should go together pretty quick. Actually, this project is going together faster than I thought it would. And just as a reminder, when you watch me doing this, this is actually the first time that I'm ever making this. So <clears throat> everything from concept to design comes from the Dreaming Tree team, our art director, Ron. He uh, dreams these up and sketches them out. And then our mastermind, uh, Diana, takes and digitizes everything and gets everything prepped. And then I get to put it together for the first time in all of its glory. And without fail, it's always pretty much spot on perfect. Okay, so we've got the base here and you can see the little triangle here. We're gonna put some glue on this guy. And you wanna make sure that you're getting that glue right out to the very edge. We want this bottom base to be as perfect as possible. Let's take and move this tab out of the way to make it easier to get our thumb in here. So where we put that glue, just line it up with the neighboring piece and squeeze and hold. But focus your, focus your hold on the very edge there so that it's holding right to the very tip. Okay, give that a few seconds to set. And that looks good. Now let's, let's move this out of the way. That was kind of risky because that tab is still sort of setting. And yeah, it looks okay. All right, next little tab here. Get your glue on this tab. And again, less is more. So don't overdo it, but make sure you get enough coverage there. And then just pull this up connect it to that little tab, squeeze and hold that in place until it sets. Make sure that you've got it nice and lined. Okay. And just be patient with this piece. These are, these are what I call anchor pieces and it's really gonna hold all this together. So no sense in rushing here. Okay. All right, moving on to our next little triangle, same thing. Get your glue right on there and connect it up here. Line it up nicely, make sure it's nice and straight and just hold, let that set. And the base is actually very, very simple. Just takes a little bit of time. Okay. And last but not least, we've got this last triangle here. I'm gonna fold that in to make it easier to access with my glue bottle. Get that glue right out to the edge and bring it in and up against the inside of the neighboring piece. Squeeze and hold that together until it sets. Okay, so, I mean, this has pretty much been live minus an edit where I sneezed and we're still under 30 minutes getting all this uh, assembled so far. So that's a good sign. Should go together fairly quickly for what it is. Okay, <clears throat> so now that we've got the 
first part of the base somewhat constructed here. We can take these, uh, take these tabs and fold them in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of these pieces and we're gonna attach it to one of these tabs. We're gonna start with just one side, one at a time. Don't overdo it on this as far as glue goes, but get a nice little line of glue right out to the edge. And I need a little bit more here. Oops, it's okay. I'm just gonna spread that all the way out right up to the very, very edge with my finger, just so that we have a nice clean look, clean finished look. And then just take this piece and line it up right up to the edge and just push that down. Kind of use your thumbs and, and slide them along the edge and the top to make sure that they're aligned nicely. And then once it gets its initial hold, you can flip it down and push down like so. Okay. Give that a good push. And that is a pretty good seam. I've got a little area up here that is kind of lifting up. So I'm just going to grab a scrap piece of cardstock and throw a little glue on there. I'd love to hear in the comments if you guys have used this tip of you know taking and painting the uh, the tabs on if you didn't get them to stick properly because I I know I talk about it a lot I do it pretty frequently and I'm just wondering if if using that little tip has helped your products um, look more polished so leave a comment under the video if, if you do use the, uh, the little tip there, I'd love to hear. All right, so this at this point, this is where we may need to use this little tip uh, a little bit more. And that's because we have to kind of pop this down all in one shot and get everything to stick nicely. I remember what I was working on where I did this uh, and I kind of doubted myself thinking that, you know what, I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna to have to paint some glue under these tabs here because there's no way I'm gonna get it perfect. And it ended up being almost perfect the first time around. Okay, so my camera kind of stopped running because um, it hit the 30 minute mark here while I was putting the top down on there. So um, when you, you'll have it open, if yours is still open, go ahead and close it down and just run your finger along the edges here just to make sure that it's nice and flush you may need to kind of shimmy the walls in, just give them a little bit of a nudge to make sure that they're nice and aligned. And you know what, despite the fact that I doubted myself uh, and was like, oh, we're for sure gonna have to paint this, it actually came out great, okay? So next thing we're gonna do to kind of stiffen this thing up and give it a little extra support is we're gonna add one more layer on top. Now you can decide if you wanna go on top or bottom and actually, because the bottom was all one piece, I'm gonna flip it over. That's gonna be the bottom. This is gonna be the top of the base. I'm gonna, cause it looks more polished up here, okay? So even if down here doesn't look that great, this is gonna look awesome because it was already one piece um, connected to the tabs. So I'm just gonna throw some glue on this. I'm gonna go very sparse on this because sometimes in large areas like this, the paper does tend to sort of warp Okay, and again, we're getting that glue right out to the edge. Okay, and just pop that right on top. Make sure your texture side is up. And just kind of scooch it around until you have it lined up nicely. And then run your finger along the edges here just to make sure that it's nice and aligned. If you've got any glue kind of peeking out, just kind of rub it off. Okay, that looks good. That looks really good, actually. Having a good craft day today. Okay, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take these pieces here, and first off, let's get everything folded. We're gonna create a little lip for the top of our lantern so that when we sit it on the base, it has something to sit on, okay? And the way this is gonna work is, uh, if you're using AC cardstock, I've got, I've got my texture here. So it's gonna go like this, okay? And I've got my texture side here, um, not on the inside, but on the outside. 
Either way is fine. It doesn't really matter. When the lantern is uh, sitting on the base, you're really not going to see that anyway, but uh, that's the way I'm doing it. So I figured I would just tell you and share that with you. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of glue and put it on this little triangular piece here. And get it right out to the edge there. And then you can just use it. You can put it on flat. Give it a few seconds. If you're using the Scotch Quick Dry, give it a few seconds. And then what you can do is fold it in half on top of itself. And just make sure that it's nice and level. Both pieces kind of match up and are flush. And that's going to indicate that you've got it nice and aligned perfectly. Okay. And then we're going to take this triangle here on this side and we're going to throw some glue on it and we're just going to close this piece up and make it one solid piece. Okay. And just close that up. And again, you can kind of fold it onto itself and work with it flat. Perfect. All right, so now we've got this. We're going to take these tabs and flare them outward. Okay. Should have this shape here. And we're going to glue this right onto the base. It should be pretty much perfect and be flush with the perimeter of the actual base itself. There might be a little bit of wiggle room there, but you want to make sure you get it nice and centered. So what we're going to do is just throw some glue on this and it may help to kind of hold it so that it doesn't move around too much as we're putting this glue on because this piece is kind of, there's nothing stabilizing it. It's kind of wacky. It's like a, it's like a drunk piece of paper. Okay. All right. Just grab the actual lip portion. I would do an eagle eye view of it just to make sure that you're getting it nice and centered. And just pop it right on your base. Because it's all about this base right now. And just run your finger along the tabs, push down, let that glue bond with the two pieces of paper. Okay, there's our beautiful little lip. And then what we're gonna do to finish this off is put a little bit of glue around the perimeter. I don't need to go too crazy with this. And of course, as always, I'm going to work a little bit of that right out to the very edge and spread that out right up to the edge. And I actually went below the edge. Tisk tisk. Okay. Should have just done a thicker line of glue. That would have worked probably a little bit better. All right, and spread that glue out right up to the edge. You don't have to do it this way. I just prefer to because it just makes everything look more polished and perfect. Okay, and then we're going to take this piece and just slide it over the lip right onto the base to polish that off, clean it off, and make it look pretty. It should fit perfectly. And just run your finger along that piece there all the way around to help it settle into place. And just keep adding and applying pressure to this to help it settle. There we go. All right, I've got a nice sturdy base. Should be uh, sturdy enough for even one of those, um, oh, what are those called? Luminara candles. Those are pretty heavy. I think they've got like two D batteries in them and that makes them kind of heavy. So uh, should be steady enough or sturdy enough for that. Beautiful. Looks really good. Okay. So our base is done. Um, we've got this piece here. You know, we can actually, now that this is somewhat um, settled down, we can go ahead and turn this into one solid piece. So what we're going to do is grab one of the tabs here and let's get our glue on the tab. 
Okay, work that glue right out to the edge. I'm going to spread it thin right out to the very edge. Okay, and then make sure that you have them aligned properly. <clears throat> Use your table, just line it up so that it's flush here at the bottom as well as the top. And then just push that tab over. I'm gonna grab my brayer, apply some pressure there. Okay. And that just made it one solid piece. I'm gonna fold this over a little bit. So it looks like I got a little bit of glue that kind of came out there. That's fine. <clears throat> and we're just gonna repeat that same process with the other tab here. So get your glue on the tab. And again, working one little line out to the edge. Okay. And you can actually put this down flat, pull this flap over, or this part of it over, I should say, and just push down and just hold that in place for a few seconds while it sets. If you have a little bit of glue that kind of popped out there, it's okay. Give that a second. Okay. So there's the, the base of our our little lantern here. Okay. And why don't we just, uh, let me just leave this flat for now. No sense in, no sense in messing with it. Let's just leave it flat. If you want, you could even put it under a book and that might kind of um, flatten it out even more. Okay. So that's ready to go. Uh, let's take a look at, let's take a look at this piece here. All right, what we're going to do is just going to put glue on this tab. Okay, and all the way down, a nice little line up to the edge. And then I'm going to take my finger, run it up to the very edge there. Okay, and all we want to do is connect these two sides together right at that angle. You can actually do this like this too. You can do this flat. Make sure that you have it aligned properly and just push and hold that down. Okay. All right. So now we've got one solid piece just like that. Okay. Next we can take this piece here and get this glued into place. So let's start by just putting a little bit of glue on this first tab here and then folding it over and bringing it up to this piece here and just connecting it like that. Just make sure that you're getting it at the correct angle there. Okay. There we go. Give that a few seconds to hold. There we go. And just repeat the same process on the next little tab here. Get your glue in place and connect. Make sure you've got that, that angle aligned correctly. And next here, same process. Some of this almost becomes self-explanatory once you get your feet wet and get some experience with, uh, with these files. Okay. So there we go. I'm just kind of squeezing here and there. Okay. And last but not least, we've got two little tabs to connect here, this triangular one, as well as this large one. You have to kind of slide that large tab in there. Once we get some glue on it, I'm going to dot the glue on and then kind of spread it around. Make sure you get it up towards that edge there. And you might have to get your finger in underneath to get that to connect 
correctly and just give it a squeeze and just be patient while that bonds there. Okay, and then of course there's this little triangular piece inside here. Hopefully you can see that. I mean, you saw it before you put it together. Just gonna put a little dot of glue on there. And that was a huge dot of glue. Let me grab my scrap paper here and just paint that onto the tab. And stick your, finger, stick your thumb in there to connect that, that triangular tab to the inside of its neighbor. Make sure you get the appropriate angle. Wipe off any excess glue that might have shot out there. Okay, and that's that. And then of course, we've got three little triangular tabs up at the top, and that's to glue our little square in place. And I'm just gonna dab this right onto those tabs. And yeah, that should hold. Just close that up and press and hold that nicely until it's fully set. Okay, so that piece is pretty much done. Okay, so this piece is also done. And at this point, all we need to do is connect these to this using these. Okay, oh, and you know what? We actually have some trim pieces that we can apply to our lantern. I think maybe, well, no, I'm gonna do that later. I'm gonna do that once the lantern's put together. I think it'll work out better that way. Okay, so uh, I think the best thing to do at this point is to start from the top and get this piece connected here. And we're gonna do that and accomplish that with this piece here. Okay, this is gonna create a little box for us. On top of the box are gonna be these pieces which are gonna get glued to the inside of this. And then these little pieces are gonna get glued to the inside of this. Okay, so let me show you what that's gonna look like. Let's fold these up. And this is a weird little piece here, but that's, uh, that's so that we can glue the top onto this without obstructing the light that is gonna be shining through there in those vellum pieces. So you wanna get those folded as nicely as you can up like that, okay? You wanna fold these up as well. Eventually they'll be facing down once we construct the box, but for now we want to fold this. And then go ahead and fold everything else at the score marks like this. So we're just creating a very thin little box with um, some tabs at the top and bottom that are gonna help us kind of keep everything and connect everything. Okay, and then this guy here, yep, there we go. Just fold everything over like so. And I'll, I'll show you here once I'm done how this should all look when it's all folded properly. Okay, so just to give you an idea, Okay, let me get that in there. So you can see the formation of the box, the tabs at the top for this piece, and then we're gonna close this up. I still have one more tab to fold here. We're gonna close this up to create a solid box with these tabs at the bottom that are gonna get glued in here, okay? So, um, we could pretty much start anywhere. Um, let's start with this little triangular tab here. Okay, so I'm gonna take some glue and this is, um, this is gonna be the bottom here. This is the top, it doesn't really matter right now. So I'm probably giving you more information than you need. Find the little triangular tab that's closest to this little piece here and just glue that to its neighboring piece. I'm gonna move this out of the way for a second so I can get my finger in there. And just glue that to this piece here, like so. Let me zoom in on this piece here. Okay, so the first thing I did was I just took and I glued the little triangular tab to 
this ne the, the neighboring piece here, basically. And now I'm gonna move over to this side and just put a little glue on this tab and connect it to this piece. And it's not a very large piece, so it won't, shouldn't take that long to, to dry. Just hold it in place. I'm just constructing a little, almost like a little pizza box. Okay, and we can move over to this side here. Throw a little glue on there. I'm gonna thin that out with my finger and just close that up with the neighboring piece. Just should be enough room to get your thumb in there. And once it really gets that initial hold, you probably don't even need to use your thumb, but I would continue holding it for just a few seconds to ensure that it stays. Okay, and then we've got one last triangular piece here that we're gonna glue right to this piece here. And that's good. And let's pop this triangular piece down a little bit so we can get our glue bottle on there. And we'll close that up. And the rest of this should go pretty smooth for us. This is probably the most little, well, the smallest piece, that's for sure. And that's okay. We can do it, right? Okay, so it's kind of like assembling the base. And what we're gonna do is put our glue on these tabs here. And then of course, we want to get a little bit, this is where that little fine tip nozzle would probably come in handy for tiny work like this. So for those of you that are working on those miniatures that I've been seeing in the group, um, I don't know if you guys have ever made the fairy houses, and there's been quite a few people that have miniaturized them. So I would, I would think that using um, those little fine tip applicators would be perfect for that. Because I think at this point, it's working just fine, only, probably, only because I probably have a good feel for the bottle, but I could see those being very useful for working on small applications like that. Okay. So my little, my little box with the little tabs came out pretty nice. You can see what that's supposed to look like, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the top part first, okay? So you see how you've got these little cutouts on one side and this one's just flat? Well, the cutouts are gonna go right there like that. And the flat parts are gonna go on the part where we don't have the little cutouts on the side here. And that's gonna anchor this to this piece. And then once we're done, we're gonna pop it in here. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up so that we can stick our finger in there. And what I'd suggest doing is putting a little bit of glue on just one of these tabs at first. Let's just do one at a time and get it anchored because we can kind of flip it open. Okay, so just make sure that you're not putting the vellum cutout portion on this side. Make sure that you're just doing this side here. And then I've got my finger inside here pushing that tab up against this wall from the inside. Okay, so just hold that down, give it a second to dry. And then we will have to, for the rest of these, we'll have to do them all in one shot. So again, this is kind of our, our anchor piece. Okay, but now that that's dry, you can see how that's connected on the inside there. And we're gonna have to put our glue on the remainder of these little tabs here. You don't need to get crazy with this. Just a little bit is gonna go a long way. You can put a little bit more on that one since it's not cut out. Oops. Got a little glue explosion there. I'm just gonna wipe that off. Okay, so just make sure that you're putting these pieces inside and then with your finger, just kind of push in from the inside and push down from the outside to apply that necessary pressure to make these pieces stick. And that's it, okay? I'd say that looks pretty darn good. Okay, so now we're gonna take this piece and pop that right on top there. And just like we did before, 
Um, let's take and let me make sure that that's sitting nicely. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter which way you put this on. I don't think, um, well, <clears throat> I'm going to put this on where, um, the little loop here is lined up with this pattern so that this would be my front. Okay. But that's up to you how you want to do it. All right. So I'm going to keep the camera, um, at this zoomed in level here. I'm going to get my glue on one of the tabs and just stick it in there. Okay. And then grab the tab from the inside and push it up against the wall of this piece here that I'm holding in my left hand. Okay. So I'm just kind of pushing it up against that wall in there. I'll show you that in a second. I just want to make sure that it grips nicely. There you go. So you can see that tab connecting to the inside of this main piece. And then once we have that in place and give that a few extra seconds to set, we can go ahead and flip this up and get our glue on the remaining three tabs here. That seems to be holding pretty well. Okay. You don't need to worry about getting the glue out to the edge here. I think you probably want to avoid that actually so that you don't uh, inadvertently get glue spilling out. So once you got the glue on all three of those tabs, pop it back in there and then just grab the tabs and push them up against the wall on the inside. Maybe focus on one at a time for a few seconds before you move on to the next one, because we want to make sure that we're actually getting it to grip. If you rush through it, it may slip and come off and then you'll have to go back in and do it all again. Okay. So there you go. You can see the tabs all glued in there and now we've got one solid piece. Isn't that cool? Um, so really all that's left to do now is connect this to the top of this. And, um, we're going to be using pretty much the same sort of, um, strategy here. Okay. So what we're going to do here is kind of create another box. Okay. So, um, this is how your piece is going to come out and I have my texture side here. Take these, um, interior tabs and point them up. Okay. Cause it's going to go down into our project like this. Okay. That's going to go inside of the actual lantern. Okay. Well, let's construct this first before we worry about it. So then take and you want to fold, fold everything else the opposite way. Okay. So, fold this like so and this little skinny top piece, something's going to be glued to that. So you don't have to worry too much about what that's going to look like if you fold it and kind of crease it or whatever, but do your best to get it nice and perfect. Okay. All right. So you can kind of see what's happening here. We're kind of creating another little box, except this box is not going to have a top. It's just kind of a, a lip. Okay. So the larger tab is going to be at the bottom and it's going to go inside of our lantern. And this is just kind of creating a little box shape with a lip. And what we're going to do to uh, construct this is just take our little triangles here and glue them to the neighbors. Okay. I'm just kind of dabbing that glue right out to the edge and connect that to the neighboring piece. Make sure that you get it nice and aligned and just hold that in place until it sets. Okay. Moving on to our next triangular tab here. Same process. Just get your glue on that tab and just move it over to its neighboring piece and connect that at a nice angle there. Nice straight angle, straight angle. That's an oxymoron, isn't it? A straight angle. I guess it's not. 
It's been a while since I was in geometry class, so I apologize. Straight angle. I don't know. I know there's a cute and obtuse. I, I think there's a straight angle, even though it sounds weird. Okay, so continuing on here, I'm just going to put some glue on our next little triangular tab here. And I'm going to get that glue out to the edge and just poke it right in there, right to the neighbor, the neighboring piece, and just squeeze and hold right there. Get that aligned nicely. Okay. And just be patient while that sets. We've got one more triangular piece to get into place. And then we can put our little top onto this. All right, so you can see that triangular piece, just getting my glue right on there, right up to the edge. And I might as well cover up that whole triangle. Just pop it right in there, line it up with the neighboring piece. Make sure it's nice and straight and just hold. Okay. And I've got like three or four more steps here and we'll be done. Okay. So again, you can see what we've constructed here. It's kind of like, kind of like this piece here. Um, I'm just going to add a little extra dimension to our piece and it's going to help us get all the pieces connected. All right, so now this piece here, okay, you can see this piece here. What we're going to do is we're going to take these tabs and fold them up. These are going to go in here, okay, and just get those folded like that. And what we're going to do is we're going to glue this piece to this piece and make this all one solid piece. And that's going to help us bond everything together. So what we can do, like we've done in the past here, is start with one side, our little anchor piece here. And I just put a nice thick line of glue on there. I'm going to run that right out to the very edge on both sides. Just clean that off. And let's just get one side on here nicely. Get that aligned. And give it a good squeeze. Make sure that it's nice and centered, that it's right out to the edge. So give it a little nudge here and there if you need to. And just run your finger along that piece there to make sure that it gets a good hold. I think that should do it. And that looks pretty good. All right, now we can take this piece and move it out of the way. And we've got these three tabs left here to apply glue to so that we can close this off. And I'm just gonna put a nice thick line on all of these because I'm gonna take my finger and work that glue right out to the edge. So this looks nice and seamless once it's done. Okay, running that glue right out to the edge. And because it's such a thick line of glue, we have a little more time to work with this. And it's actually good because we can let that glue sort of set a little bit so it just gets tacky enough to hold, but it won't take forever. Okay, so now just pop that down and work your fingers along these edges here. Oops, I had a little excess glue there on my finger. And again, you may need to kind of nudge these in a little bit. The walls, just push down. If you don't get it perfect, don't worry, because we can always go in and clean it up if we need to, but it's looking pretty good. Again, if there are little areas here that we need to tweak, we can do that by using our little painting method. Okay, but that actually worked nicely because I had a 
ton of glue on there. Okay, so I think the best thing to do at this point is to glue the top on because we can actually get our hand in from either side of this. So we may as well glue our top on first and then glue this to the main part of our, our lantern here. You know, now that I'm looking at this more closely, I'm realizing that these sections here are identical. Okay, the top, the, these tabs and these tabs are pretty much the same. So, that being the case, what I would do, because um, this part here was already pre-assembled, we had to put this on the bottom, let's make, let's make the part that we just glued on the bottom, okay? That way, this looks a lot nicer up at the top and no one's really gonna be looking at this from underneath. So, that is gonna help us look like pros. All right, so again, just to recap what I just said. Initially, when we glued this piece onto the little box that we constructed, um, this was the separate piece that we had to glue on after we constructed the box. We're gonna make this the bottom that's gonna connect to the main part of our lantern. It doesn't matter which way you do it, um, but this side is cleaner looking, and we're gonna probably be looking at it more from the top than we are from underneath. So we're gonna leave that as the top. Um, anyway, so what we wanna do is just get some glue on this tab here. And we're just gonna do one tab at a time here. And I kinda went a little crazy with the glue there. So I'm just kinda pulling some of it off. And just get that nice and centered there. And glue that to the inside of this piece. You can see how I'm doing that. I'm just gluing it right to the inside of the piece and it's perfect. It's not going to obstruct the light for the vellum. Make sure you have it nice and even and nicely aligned. Okay, just hold that in place for a few extra seconds. Let it set. And then put the rest of the tabs in place like so. And that should sit nicely for you like that. And you can actually work from the inside if you want. It's up to you. I'm just gonna open this up and apply glue to the next little tab here, like so. And don't worry about bringing it all the way down. You really don't need to. And you may actually cause more glue issues if you do. So I'm just kind of, um, kind of pushing up on this to make sure that this is sitting as low as possible on this piece. And I'm just kind of pressing this down. And now that we have these two pieces connected, it's not gonna be possible to flip this open. So we are gonna to have to work from the inside now. So take the remaining two tabs and fold them over towards you. It might be, there we go. And just put a little bit of glue on these tabs. Hopefully you can see that, yep. So there's those two tabs left. I'm gonna put glue on those. Don't overdo it like I just did. And flip that over onto this piece here. Make sure that it's nice and aligned and nice and flat there so it's sitting. And just hold that in place right on the inner wall of this piece here. And that just leaves one more little tab to glue down. And I believe it's this one. Yep, this last little tab here. Let's fold that in. Folding it in, that's out, that's in, so that we can put glue right here. Just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And then fold that up against this piece here. And just make sure that you've got it as low as it can go. Get low. and then just hold that in place and let it set. Okay, so there we go. That looks sharp, really nice. Okay, and then all that's left to do is take these tabs and glue them to the inside of our main structure here. Okay, so let's just, let's just shimmy this in here. 
so you can get an idea of what that's going to look like. Okay, and we can start with just one tab here, just a nice little line right in the center. You don't need to go too high or too low because if you do, you kind of risk that glue pushing up and poking through areas that you don't want it. Now also, while we're gluing this down, if you are using different patterns, make sure that you're alternating them. Okay, so I've got a floral print here, then I've got the blue print here, and I'm just gonna pop that in there. Just make sure that the rest of those tabs are in. Okay, and then just push that right up against that tab there. So this piece here that I'm pushing down on, on the inside from this piece is where I have the, uh, the glue. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. And you see what I mean by not wanting to use too much glue. I have a little bit of glue that shot out here. And I'm just gonna scrape that up with uh, just a scrap piece of paper. Just rub that off. Okay, so you can see, hopefully, from the inside. Well, actually, you know what I can do? I can still open this up. So that tab, this, is, this tab is connected to this top piece and we're just gluing it right to the inside of the main structure. So now uh, what we can do, since we can still um, open this lid up, just gonna put a little bit of glue on the next piece here and we're gonna slide it in. Just make sure the rest of the tabs are also going inside of the structure. Just slide it in and then push up on that tab so that it meets the inside wall of this side here. Okay, and it might help to have something a little more flat to push down on this instead of just a finger. And that looks pretty darn good. So now the other two tabs, we're gonna have to glue from the inside, which is fine. You're just gonna have to flip the tabs up now this may be very difficult for me to show you, but you're just repeating the same process here. I'm gonna just try to, to do this and show you the inside here if I can. And you can see the glue. This is the tab. Okay, the glue's on the underside. And then we're just gonna push that tab up against the inside of the base of our, our lantern here. Okay, so just kind of run your fingers along that top part there. And that just leaves one last tab here. I'm gonna fold that up. And what you're doing is you're just putting glue on the tab so that the glue is between the tab and the inside of the base of our structure here, this thing. Okay, I had way too much glue in there. And some of it probably is going to shoot out, but that's okay. That's what happens. You make mistakes. And it's a little harder because I can't get my face in there because I'm trying to show you on camera, but there's always a way to kind of clean things up. So I had a little bit of glue that shot out. I'm just gonna take a scrap piece of paper and just kind of rub it off. There we go. But that's it, okay? So our lantern is complete. Um, with the exception of um, these little trim pieces here. And there's a little score mark right in the center of this thing. And that's gonna go right along the edge. And we're gonna just put some glue on, on one side here. I'm gonna just go really thin on this. Okay, and I'm gonna spread that. Spread that out. Use the, use the little corner there to help guide, um, help guide you here. And then it should be flush up against the little roof piece at the top. So just nudge that all the way up until it's flush with the little bottom of this, this piece here. Okay. So we've got that piece in place. And we can rotate this over. And move that out of the way for a second so that we can get our glue on this little strip. That's good. And then just fold that down. Just make sure that it's nice and flush up against 
the very top, as high as you can go. Okay, that looks good. And then we're just gonna repeat the same process with this last trim piece. Find your little score mark, fold it, and let's get glue on just one side here. And I went a little nuts there. Okay, use the little corner as a guide. And again, just kind of pushing up as high as it can go right there. And run your finger along that piece there. Okay, so anyway, we got one little piece of, uh, one little section left to glue down. And um, take a look at the final photos so that you can see where um, we added some bling. Uh, we're gonna jazz this up with some pearls, probably some liquid pearls, um, just to really finish this thing off. So take a look at the final photo on the website so you can see where all that goes. It's a lot easier to kind of uh, really study that in detail in a nice crisp photo. So do that so you can see where we where we kind of jazzed it up, and then um, that's pretty much it. I mean, this thing pretty much uh, stands on its own. You don't really have to add too much to it, uh, but if you want to, you totally can. And of course, um, I just, I really love this shape up here. Um, if you're savvy enough, and I may do a video on this, but you can actually put whatever you want on these lanterns if you know how but that's pretty much it you pop your little candle in there and it's got a nice beautiful little base and uh, of course to finish it off we have the little pennant here um, you can write something on it if you want stamp something um, to from whatever um, there's a we have a, a silver some silver string or, or gold string that I'm going to use to just kind of hang that off of the actual lantern. And then of course, during the videos, you'll see it in its full glory with uh, the candle and such. So anyway, whoa. Now one other thing that I forgot to mention is um, we have this, um, this floral wire that we actually used in our Alluring Florals bundle. And we're just kind of, uh, we're gonna use that to create a cool little ring or loop um, around the top of this. And what you wanna do is just kinda of pop it in there and um, shape it to the size that you want it. And then give it a trim. I've got my floral or my little wire cutter there. Okay, and then what you want to do is just poke both sides of this in there. Just try to get it there we go. And then just shape it so that it's nice and round. This is a very thick wire, so I don't really need to uh, it's gonna pretty much, there we go. And then you see you've got a cute little ring at the top that you can use to, to lift it up. Okay, so it's just one little added thing that you can do to really give this thing uh, a nice unique finishing touch. Not too bad of a project. Um, it came out really, really pretty. It's gonna look great lit up. So if you, if you did uh, enjoy this video, please take a moment to visit our YouTube channel and hit that subscribe button. And if you do make this um, in this version or a modified version with different colors, different patterns, uh, we'd love to see it. So take a moment and visit us on Facebook by doing a search for Dreaming Tree Group. Uh, there's about, actually as of today, about 5,100 dreamers that are very active and posting photos of their creations and we'd love for you to to join along so um, as always i uh, thank you for joining me and i look forward to crafting with you again stay on top of all things dreaming tree and engage with us today 
get the latest news, and enter in our giveaways on Facebook. Get inspired by following us on Pinterest. Be the first to see our new product launches on Instagram. Do you prefer Twitter? Yep, we're there too. Watch our beautiful product trailers and assembly tutorials on YouTube. For more information, visit www.3dsvg.com. Live, craft, love, and dream.